Hey gang, this is Mike with my Real Estate Dojo and today's lesson is about the power of pre-recorded messages. So let's dive into this stuff. Alright gang, today's lesson is about the importance and the power of pre-recorded messages for your business. Now, let me go ahead and explain to you how I use pre-recorded messages, okay, for my business as a real estate investor. A pre-recorded messages is when I have um, owner financing properties or when I have rental properties. Um, and <clears throat> what I do is I'll leave a message, let's say it's an owner financing property, I'll leave a description about the property I have for sale, you know, how many bedrooms, bathrooms, etc. But more importantly, I leave, you know, how much I'm looking for a down. You know, uh, hey, I'm looking for twenty thousand. Like I'm looking for thirty, because what happens is it helps me with the screening process. Depends on how you word the messages. For example, not only am I pre-recording messages, sometimes I leave description, but I also leave actions I want to do. For example, leave a message. And more importantly, leave a message answering these following questions. And if I have a significant high deal and I have so many buyers calling on it, and the ones that can't follow instructions are the ones that I'm not going to call first or not even call at all. So it, it just all depends on how you structure your pre recorded message. And this is why I love the pre recorded message. So, you know, how I use it is for my rental properties or for my owner financing properties. And I use it from anywhere from the description of the property to how much I'm looking down and action plan that I want the buyer or the seller or whoever, okay, want them to do. On the rental property, to do the same thing. I disclose, you know, what I want for the rentals, what the security deposit is. You know, you can have freaking ask questions like, you know, the first five questions that people ask me when they call about a rental property. Well, how much is it? What is the security deposit? Is there any application fees? Do you guys accept eviction or credit? Whatever those things are, I might be able to just address all of those questions right on the pre-recorded message. So I use it on the buyer side and the rental side of the business significantly. And if you've ever called my 800 number, I also use it on the seller side of the business significantly. My, the first thing that people hear when they call me is not that I pick up. Sometimes I pick up or my VAs pick up, but we usually don't like to pick up the phone. What we want to do is kind of filter out the customers or the sellers in this case by their motivation level. The ones, you know, when it, once a seller calls my office line, it's a pre-recorded message that tells them exactly what I do, that I'm an investor, I don't pay retail price, but all the positive stuff, etc. And then we ask them to, you know, not just leave a message, we ask them to get a pin, write down my cell phone number, and then give me a call directly, okay? And then when they call my cell phone number, again, they have to listen to another pre-recorded message and then leave that property address. And so again, like I explained earlier, I use it for hoop jumping is what I call it. I make the seller, in this case, jump through multiple hoops before they even get hold of me. And what that does is filters out the cream of the crop from everything else. I find the most motivated sellers are the ones that will only call my office phone line. Then go get a pen and call my phone line again to write down my phone number, cell phone number. And then call my cell phone number and listen to the voice message. And then leave the property address. And as you could notice, I've made the seller jump through multiple hoops before they even got in contact with me. Okay? And the reason I do that is to, again, separate the cream from the regular milk. Okay? And now, the cream is going to be very little, but it's the top of the top. Now, not saying, let me stop and say, if the... The remaining people that call my office phone line and never leave a message, or the people that call my office phone line and just leave a message but don't follow the directions. Okay, these type of sellers, I'm not saying it's not worth for you guys to give them a call. You should call every lead that calls you. But if you're really, really busy and you're doing a lot of deals or you're like me, you have multiple businesses and you have a lot of shit going in your life, then you may want to have a filtering system like I do, especially if you know you need to only do a couple of deals. Uh, a year. Does that make sense? You're not looking to do 
making fixing flipping homes or wholesaling properties your everyday lifestyle does that make sense if you're just a part-time you know a uh, home owner or a business owner and you do this on the side because you want to buy you know three properties a year or five properties a year then you probably don't want to sit there and talk to 20 fucking sellers a day okay you may want to but if you're at the level where you don't need to this is the strategy that i put i make the sellers jump through hoops and which i recommend to more advanced um, investors but if you're a newbie i highly recommend calling every lead don't get me wrong it depends on your hunger level and quantity of deals you want to do on a monthly basis. About I use the pre-recorded message phone scripts, not only on my buyers, not only on my renters, I also use it on my sellers, okay? Now, let's go into some reasons why um, a pre-recorded phone message is great for your business. It doesn't, doesn't matter what kind of business you, you're in. The number one reason is that it saves you on labor. You don't have to keep repeating the same question over and over to your sellers, your buyers, your audience. Okay. The number two reason is that more audiences, more sellers or buyers, or whoever your audience is, your customers is, they're going to call you more because they don't have the hesitation of, damn, I'm going to call this number. Somebody's going to pick up the phone and try to sell me something or pitch me something hard. They don't have to feel, they don't have to deal with that fear. So more customers are going to, or sellers or buyers are going to reach out to you to listen to that pre-recorded message, okay? Which allows you to build your list a lot more to have more people to call than you normally would, okay? The third reason why I love uh, the pre-recorded message is that, you know, you can use a phone system, like for example, uh, Google Voice, or what I use is Ring Central. If you don't know what Ring Central is, Check out my other videos. All right, so I use a phone system which allows me to build my database very quickly without actually calling people. So, you know, for example, I have a Google Voice, let's say, for buyers, and you can have a Google Voice for, let's say, sellers, and then you have pre-recorded messages for sellers, and when you run your ad, callers are gonna call, listen to this pre-recorded message, but you're able to collect their phone number for further use down the line when you have another property or for follow-ups or whatever the story may be. And that's another reason why I love pre-recorded messages. Now, make sure you put these pre-recorded messages on on everywhere, like for, on your flyers, you know, on your website, on your um, postcards, your mail outs, you know, they're good. But do think about strategizing the pre-recorded message. Don't say, hey, say, hey, this is my, you know, Mr. Investor, please leave a message. I mean, that's not really, you know, make sure they're informative. Like, for example, again, when I talk to my buyers, pre-recorded messages, I tell them about the property. I, you know, I answer every question they, they're gonna ask me or most people ask me over that pre-recorded message so I don't have to take time and they need to re-explain that idea, okay? I talk, I talk to them about the terms, if this is a, owner financing deal, how much they got to have now, what the monthly payments are, you know, whatever they need from me, I already provided that to them, okay? So once they listen to that message, they feel comfortable and their fear barrier is going to be dropped down or their shield is going to be dropped down and they're willing to reach out to me instead of me falling up with them because I, if you haven't figured, I like people to come to me. I don't like to sell. I, I want them to come buy to me because I've added value. Okay, so that's what I recommend for you guys as well. Now, what should you say in your pre-recorded text? I always have a text that says something like, hey, free pre-recording. And I like to use the word free because a lot of people think you know, they see 800 number, they have to call and pay, but it's not. Make sure, you, what I do is I say, pre free recording message regarding payments and house, okay? So if, I was this, if this was a owner financing, then I would just say, hey, pre-recording message regarding payments and, and the house okay if this was for rentals then you know I would change the text accordingly and remember if you like these videos please share please like please leave a comment so it boosts me to make more videos for you guys all right gang this is Mike with my real estate dojo thanks for watching go out there and hustle and hustle and don't take it.